If you raise chickens, you know that a scrambled egg in the morning can be an excellent source of protein, healthy fats, and several vitamins and minerals. But have you ever wondered why? Hi, I'm Alyssa with Southland Organics. Here at Southland, we are committed to bridging the gap between agriculture and American society. Check out our YouTube channel for more educational videos and visit southlandorganics.com for some of our all-natural chicken help supplements. The table eggs we all know and love were evolutionarily designed to sustain life. And I don't mean mine or yours. The unique nutritional qualities offered by this breakfast and baking staple developed from a need to grow a healthy chick. Eggs provide an environment safe from outside invaders, are cushioned for growth, and have enough nutrients to sustain a baby chick until they hatch, and even a little after. So let's talk a little bit about the composition of an egg. We'll start from the outside and work our way in. Eggs are laid with a very thin outer membrane called the cuticle. This reduces the permeability of the shell to protect its contents from dirt, dust, and other foreign material. In modern egg processing, washing the eggs removes this membrane. This is why eggs from the grocery store need to be refrigerated, and those from your own coop don't. The shell of the egg is made from calcium carbonate and has thousands of tiny pores, making it semi-permeable, specifically to moisture and gases. This allows for carbon dioxide produced by the unhatched chick to escape and be replaced with oxygen from outside of the shell. Between the shell and the albumen, or the egg white, there are two other membranes, the outer and inner shell membranes. These function to protect the contents of the egg from bacterial invasions and prevent moisture from leaving the egg too quickly. Shortly after being laid, the two membranes will separate at one end of the egg, forming a small pocket of air called the air cell. This happens when the egg begins to cool from body temperature to ambient temperature. The contents of the egg contract and the two membranes separate. This separation of membranes can be used to indicate freshness. The longer an egg sits, the more moisture it'll lose and the more it'll contract, making the air cell grow larger. Next, we get to the albumen, or what most people refer to as the egg white. There are two portions of albumen, the outermost being the thin or fluid albumen, and the portion closest to the yolk being the thick albumen. Both portions of the albumen are fluid media for chick development and help absorb any movement the embryo may make while it's growing. Additionally, this portion of the egg is extremely high in protein, but the star of the show is of course the yolk, which is bright yellow and neatly held in the center of the egg. The yolk is meant to serve as nutrients for the growing chick, which is why it's extremely nutrient dense in both proteins and fats. But let's take a closer look at that yolk. This portion of the egg is surrounded by what is referred to as the vitaline membrane, which helps keep its perfectly round shape. If you look closely, you may notice what appears to be similar to two small white strings on either end of the yolk. These are referred to as the chalaza. They're made of twisted strands of mucin proteins that hold the yolk in place. On the surface of the yolk, you can find a small white dot. This is referred to as the germinal disc or blaster disc and is the single female cell needed to initiate embryonic development. If your eggs aren't fertile, the blaster disc will remain intact and appear as a solid white dot. But if your eggs are fertile, the center of the dot will appear yellow. This indicates that the germinal disc has been fertilized, making it now a blastoderm and has the potential to develop into a chick. It's important to remember that eggs will only develop embryos if kept at a specific temperature. Without incubation, the blastoderm will never develop further. So don't worry about eating eggs that have been fertilized. As long as they haven't initially been incubated, you will not be eating an actual baby chicken. Isn't that egg exciting? Eggs are a delicious and nutritious part of our diets, but they're also efficient vessels specifically formed for growing safe and healthy baby chicks. They're good for us because they're designed to be good for sustaining a life. Raising your own chickens is amazing for many reasons, and I hope that learning about the composition of an egg will help you appreciate it even more. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about our video, feel free to reach out to me at alyssa at southinorganics.com. In addition to being chicken enthusiasts, we at Southland make all natural health supplements for backyard flocks. Our products help your birds stay in peak condition and produce eggs with nice, firm shells. Check them out at southinorganics.com and see the link in the description for more info.